Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Veronica aka Little Miss Skin Expert. In today's video I'm going to do a little mini tutorial using the Identity Palette by Persona Cosmetics as well as doing a swatch lip gloss video by them as well. Make sure you comment in the comment box below to let me know which one you're picking up or if you're picking up all three. Well good morning guys. I heard Instagram was down yesterday. <laughs> I didn't get on until like later in the evening, like really got on. And, um, and then I just posted the swatches that I did of the Persona Cosmetics lip glosses. And then I see all these people saying, oh my God, Instagram was off. But yeah, you know, it was down yesterday. And I'm like, really? So for today's look, it's just going to be a very like wearable daytime look um, because I really wanted to focus on doing the lip swatches for the lip glosses that I got from Persona Cosmetics. So in honor of them, we're gonna go ahead and use the Identity Palette. Um, so this is what it looks like. It's a nice little compact um, eyeshadow palette, which is nice when you're traveling and you're just like, I don't wanna take like a large palette. I just wanna take something with my basics but has a little bit of pop. This is a really nice, neutral but there's still some things in there you know it's got a, a, at least a story in here so let's go ahead and get started let's see for my neutrals today I'm gonna go ahead and start with the shade charming and this is nice too because it has a mirror in there so I'm just gonna work this in the crease again this is just gonna be a daytime look I'm not doing anything fancy just kind of giving my eyes a little bit of something so I don't look so Higher. The second shade in the palette that I'm going to go in with is this shade called Audacious. It's like a burnt terracotta orangey shade that I really like. And, you know, these are really pigmented. You do not need to go crazy with your brush and saturate it with the shade. So that's the nice thing, too, about these. So I'm just kind of working it into the shade Charming that I first put on my lid. I just kind of want to warm up my um, eyeshadow a little bit. And I just barely like tapped into this palette. I mean, it's very pigmented. Go ahead and start smoking out the outer V here. Excuse me. So I'm, the first shade I'm going to use is this shade called Fearless. It is a very deep matte brown isn't that beautiful barely even touched it into the palette um, it's a very nice dark brown you need one of these all the time in your palette and I like this shade too because you can use it um, kind of as like an eyeliner so I like the versatility of having a dark brown or even a black in a palette uh, but the brown I really like because then you can get kind of a softer look because you could always you know put liner on and then put that on and boom you're done all right so I'm just kind of working it into the outer corner here I will go back in and just kind of blend everything together so everything looks nice and seamless and not choppy and I love how easy these are to work with that's important too, especially when you're in a hurry. <laughs> a lot of us are. I'm gonna go in with the shade Charming just a little bit and then just kind of help blend everybody together here. And what this is gonna do is just make sure that I'm not having any harsh lines in my eyelid here. And I'm kind of going a little high with it too. I have a lot of lid space to work with, so I should do that. All right. Okay, so the next shade in the palette, let's see here. Well, I'm just going to kind of go over some of the shimmers that I think would look nice with just this eye look now. Okay, so this is the shade called Goddess. So that's a really nice shade. This is the shade called Gold Digger. So it's a nice gold shade. And then you could do Bombshell as well, which is a little bit more olive bronzy toned. Um, and then seductive, which I don't think I will use seductive because it has more of a pinky or rose gold hue to it. So, I mean, I could, but I, I'm not really feeling that today. Um, and then the last one that you could do is bossy. 
So that's a lot deeper than all the rest. So decisions, or you could do a combination of the, of the you know, options here. I think I'm going to actually go in with the shade bombshell. I haven't actually used it and it's like an olive green shade, like a goldy green. I, that's what I see coming out of this. So it looks like that. That's really beautiful. Um, I am going in with my finger. You could also wet your brush and then apply it. That's going to give it more of a metallic look, but I really wanted more of a soft, um, you know, wearable daytime look today. I mean, this is by definition, you can make anything wearable during the day, but it's, uh, I, uh, in the eye of the beholder as they say. I think I am going to add just a little bit of a color in here. So I think I'm going to add a little bit of goddess. I always add goddess somewhere in here. So I'm going to go ahead and just add it to the towards the outer corner of my eye. And then I'll um, add the shade fearless to kind of just make everything mesh well together. I just love this shade. I really hope she makes some singles. This would be a good single option, I think. Now I went ahead and I've just added the shade Fearless to that outer corner right here. Like that. I love this palette. I have a lot of different palettes, as you guys know, um, but this is like an awesome travel um, palette, I believe, that everybody can use it. Go ahead and add the shade Fearless again, but to a flat, like very flat definer brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and just add it along the top lash line. I don't think I'm going to do any kind of wing yet. I haven't decided but I just want to stamp this along so there's like almost like uh, it gives the appearance that you have a thicker lash line and I'm going to kind of flick this upwards so this is going to also create some fallout so I will need to brush that away that's okay go ahead and finish up the lower lash line so I'm going to go ahead and just add the shade I'm going to add Charming, which was the first shade in the palette that I used as my transition shade. And then I'm going to go over it with Audacious, which is that orange shade. I'm going to just kind of marry everybody together. Basically everything that I did above on the top lash line, I'm going to do on the lower lash line too. Fearless is a really deep dark brown, so I don't want to like do that too much. And then just taking a very small amount of Fearless on the tip here, and I'm going to go really, really close to the lash line. You could use a definer brush instead, but I don't always do that. I like using this brush or brushes like these. Okay, and now I'm just going to take Charming again on a blending brush, my Nancy blending brush, and I'm just going to just blend this out. And I am kind of attaching it along this uh, the top eyeshadow look. I'm going to go ahead and use the Cover Girl Flourish by Lash Blast. We were just using that the other day and I want to use it again. Um, again, what I liked about this was the brush because I like how it combs through each individual lashes and so it doesn't clump up. And I just really want to get these coated since I'm not wearing any eyeliner. So that way the lashes kind of give that look. Yeah, see how it lengthens? It does a really great job with that. 
pretty happy with this mascara. And of course, for highlight today, I'm going to do the shade Sassy. Now, you could do Humble, which is a little bit on the pinkier side, and it is a matte. That would work. Well, we're beaming today. I mean, a little went a long way with that. All right, you guys, now for the lip swatches. So here are the lip glosses by Persona Cosmetics. Um, they are in the similar tube as the Season 1 matte lipsticks. Um, but I believe the wand is a little different um, just because this is a gloss, so that would make sense. Um, so let's just kind of talk about the shades first. So the first shade that I have in my hand here is the shade called Toffee, and it looks like that. So it's like almost, it's got like some pink hue in there too, but it's almost like a caramel. So I really like that. That's a really awesome color to wear every day. And then here's another shade. Second shade is called Honey. So I think this is going to be my jam right here. Love that. And then the last lip gloss that comes in the collection is the shade Peach. And that looks like that. So, as you can see, the, the wand here is flat. It makes sense because with the matte liquid lipstick, the wand has more of an angled, um, you know, where you can really just line the lip very accurately. So that's nice. These retail, I believe, for $16 individually, but if you buy the whole set, I believe it's like $34. So it's a better way to go. Um, I'll make sure that I have the price and everything listed um, on my um, details and comments so that way you guys will know um, but let's get started on the swatches first swatch the shade peach so this is the lightest lip gloss in the collection so you here's the wand I love that. So that is the shade Peach. What I really love is the formula and just like there's no stickiness. It almost feels like balm like. And I love how like this is a very wearable daytime look and it's just not, it's just very like kissable looking. So, so the next lip gloss that I'm going to swatch is the shade Honey. So this is the like middle, medium, in between colors, um, peach and toffee. Man, I love how much this wand picks up. I love how flat the um, applicator is. It makes it a lot easier to just kind of lay it right on the on the lips so this is also a very wearable look you know another thing that you can do to kind of amp it up is you can add a lipstick like a matte lipstick and then add this over the matte lipstick like a nude and it would really just make it pop even more again the formula is great it's very just like not sticky bomb like it almost actually feels conditioning so like I suffer from uh, chap lips a lot especially because it is so cold here we have the heaters running all the time so something balmy like this is going to be really nice to to wear and going into springtime it'll be nice as well so once again this is the shade honey I like them so much I don't even want to take them off <laughs> all right the last shade in the collection is the shade toffee so this is the darkest shade in the collection so let's go ahead and swatch it
Very nice. I mean, come on. They're all beautiful. <laughs> I really love all of them. I mean, every single one I can use with this eyeshadow look. And so that's really nice. Um, I think that you're actually going to go with a lot of eyeshadow looks as well. So I'm really, really stoked on the collection. I'm really excited to be able to wear all of them. <laughs> so once again, guys, this is the shade called Toffee. Okay, so I'm just looking at Persona Cosmetics website. So the the lip glosses retail for $16 individually. Um, but if you get the set, the new lip gloss trio, it is $36. And then if you guys haven't signed up for like their, um, if you've never purchased from Persona Cosmetics website before, I think you can actually be entitled to another reduction in your purchases. So definitely, definitely worth it. Well, guys, here are the three beauties right here. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's lip swatch eyeshadow slash eyeshadow tutorial. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!